Not fun. We've all been here before, but have you really stopped to think about what this bug splatter could teach us about physics? Let me show you what I mean. Let's take a look at the situation again, but this time let's break it down like a real physics problem. Think about what forces are at play here and let's label them. First, as we know, we have the force that the bug exerts on the car. And in reaction, we have the force that the car exerts on the bug. These forces are caused by the interaction between two objects, in this case, the car and the bug. When you have an action and reaction force like this, they're actually called a Newton's third law pair. You probably recognize this guy right here, but this is Newton. And he has said some pretty cool things, but let me tell you about one of the cool things that he said. For each and every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This is what is known as Newton's third law. Now this is some wise words of wisdom, but what does this even really mean? Let's go ahead and break that down. The first thing that Newton mentions is that the force is equal in magnitude. This is fairly simple to understand. It means that both forces have the same strength. No one force is more powerful than the other. The second thing that he said is that they are opposite in direction. If you think about that too, it, it does make sense. If you are really angry at your brother and you push him one way, well, he's going to push you back the other way. The third one is not so intuitive and it involves making inferences based on the situation. These forces have to act on two different objects. In our example, we have the car and the bug. One force is felt by the car, and the other is felt by the bug. Fourth is also fairly confusing. This one says that they have to be the same type of force. A push force with a push force, a pull force with a pull force. For example, both forces in our problem are contact forces. You can never have one type of force on one object and another type of force on another object. Otherwise, these aren't considered to be third law pairs. Sometimes when I tell people that the forces in our problem are third law pairs, they get upset and they tell me, well, you just said that the forces have to be equal in magnitude. Well, how can they be equal if the bug gets splattered while the car doesn't feel a thing? The answer actually goes back to Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration. Even though two objects experience the same force, if one object is a lot smaller than the other, it's actually going to feel a higher acceleration. If you have a bigger mass, the acceleration for that mass will be a lot smaller. So, since the acceleration is the thing that we feel or perceive with our bodies, it's no wonder that our tiny bug gets splattered while the car, with its big mass and its low acceleration, hardly notices a thing. Well, except, of course, a big bug splatter on that windshield. <laughs>